to. And welcome back. Um, I'm here with Jamich for a run of Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. Take it away, Jamich. So hey, as, as she mentioned, I'm Jamich, uh, and we're going to be doing Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. Not to be confused with Pac-Man Championship Edition. Actually a completely different game. Great naming scheme. Uh, but before I got into that, I wanted to quickly mention uh, uh, some stuff about uh, the important work Able Gamers is doing and what it means to me. So my wife, uh, in her family, there's a genetic disease uh, that runs in her family called spinal cerebellar cataxia. Uh, her dad was wheelchair bound by age 45, and unfortunately he died in a car crash, but he probably wouldn't have made it much past 50. She had a 50-50 chance of getting it. We got lucky on that one, and she doesn't have it, but that's what I kind of started thinking about how important it is to have games available for everybody. Uh, and then when the monkey's paw curl, she also ended up with, uh, instead of that, rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases. So it and it. The uh, accessibility is a very important thing to me, and that's part of what's interesting about this game. It's just got a lot of good adaptive difficulty. Uh, so, but let's let's get started. Uh, I wanted to confirm that we were still looking at Dig Dug for the skin at this point. Let me get one last refresh in. It looks like Dig Dug is still in the lead at the okay. moment. Okay, so that is a continuous uh, incentive. That's a tug of war, so feel free to put more money at that and we can change the skins. Uh, you won't get to see most of the other ones, uh, but there's a whole bunch here. Uh, a is what I usually play on. Uh, and we have Dig Dug, Rally X, and Classic available as well. So I'm ready to start, so we can start a RTA timer in 3, 2, 1, go! But this game's not actually RTA timed, this game is in-game time, so I don't care too much about it. Uh, so, first thing you'll notice is that we would have ghosts, but we have Dig Dug guys. Uh, so we have these stationary ghosts in the level, and we have this continuously refreshing level. So as I weave through the level, you'll see I clear out all the dots, I eat the fruit, and then the uh, other side of the stage resets. You'll also notice this ghost train that's chasing me. So as I run by stationary ghosts, they will either start a ghost train, or when the ghost train comes by, they'll join in it. You will see that right here. Uh, so, if we were playing Score Attack, our main goal would be to build up big ghost trains and eat those, but we're not playing Score Attack, we're playing Time Trial. So, uh, what we want to do is actually be very judicious about what we eat. Eating increases our score, which is hidden, but, uh, we're already off, sorry. Uh, eating increases our score, uh, but it also, uh, costs time. And, uh, I play Big Duck. Okay, we'll get right back on it here. I kind of lost my route a little bit, but now we can see we've got uh, this roaming ghost here who saw me. So we're gonna divert. Uh, but now, so we hit our score high enough, so we got these roaming ghosts. And they uh, will now just kind of follow normal Pac-Man AI. And... Okay. I also have these bombs, uh, and I can use those to send the ghost back to the center. So unfortunately, I kind of got a little ways off route, and hopefully we can pick it back up right here. We Our score is high enough that now we have a second roaming ghost in the level. So what I need to do here is I need to come through this pattern. I missed my turn there. You also see when I uh, run into a ghost, that you'll see I'll get, I get a little slowdown, which is very useful if you're a beginner at the game, because it gives you a chance to react, but if you're speedrunning, it costs you a lot of time. Uh, so we're trying to avoid that. And so, now that I've kind of got things back where I want them, we're getting near the end of the level. So we just want to zig up and down these sides here. Um, and... Uh, you gotta wait for the ghost train to get by there, and this last part will also go pretty quickly. And I should have used another bomb there to avoid eating that train. Okay, so uh, that's the end of the first level. The rest of the game's kind of gonna go like that. Uh, but we're gonna have a little bit uh, different theme in each stage. Do we have any additional bids on the bid war right now? 
We do not. We are staying Dig Dug at the we moment. Staying Dig Dug. All right. So this level is called Highway. Its theme is it's got a lot of wraps around the side of the screen, and this is a good window to read a donation. No donations at the moment, but remember, six dollars can get the skin changed to either Classic Default or Rally X. So get those in. Okay. So. The beginning of this level is pretty straightforward. We're just gonna go for a couple of loops here. Uh, but we will start seeing some patterns really soon that are gonna actually wrap across both sides of the screen. So here's one, for example, where we, rather than clearing out one side and going to the other, we kind of dart back and forth. Um, so we're just gonna run through another couple of straightforward patterns, and when we get into the uh, second half of the level, then we start doing some interesting routing. Uh, we're just gonna zip up here. Okay. So now we'll double back here, and uh, actually the roaming ghost is not where I'm expecting him to be. So we're going to see stuff that's a little different from what I expect, but this game, the ghost AI is very chaotic. It's not random at all, but what it does depends entirely on where you are and which way you're facing at any given frame, so it's really hard to keep it consistent for a any length of time. So a lot of this is about reacting on the fly. So I did do a bomb at a very exact point in there in order to set up the train to be where I want it. I'm going to come across here and we're going to eat all these ghosts here to get our speed up and come down here. Uh, it's, and then um, one thing I haven't explained yet is that you can buffer your turns in this game. So Dig Dug or Pac-Man is going to throw out sparks if I start buffering a turn and that's going to let me take those turns faster. So a lot of times you will see me take what appear to be unnecessary turns, but the goal of that is to get that little speed boost around the corners. So we're coming up on the end of this level and there's a very technical eat on the last screen. Uh, so I'm gonna stay quiet for a second while I address that. So we're gonna come up here and we need to... And I did not get it. So ideally, we don't want to eat any of these ghosts here, but I missed a few of them. But we still were within uh, 10 seconds of my individual level PB. So we're going to move on to Junction, which is a stage with a lot of crossing routes and tends to have a lot of difficult ghost traffic. Any updates on the bid war? Staying Dig Dug at the moment. And again, if there happen to be any donations, it's a good window to read them at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, sure. I do want to mention um, we have a shirt with the Yeti this time around, which is absolutely wild. Um, never could have imagined that our little speedrunning event in the Midwest would have a shirt on the Yeti. So type in exclamation point shirt in chat. Yep, just like Marlon did. And go over there, buy one of those shirts. 25% uh, of all proceeds from the shirts will go to Able Gamers. Yeah, this is actually my first marathon, so I gotta get me one of those shirts to commemorate it. Do it. So uh, here we got some patterns where we weave in and out of the top of the screen, and then I got a very specific setup here where I'm going to bring the ghost train right behind me so that I can keep it in control. And this might... that slowdown's a little unfortunate there because I couldn't make that turn the way I wanted to make it. So I'm, a li I'm again a little bit not where I want to be at the moment. So let's see how this goes. We are in uncharted territory. That's never happened before. No, okay, we died. I tried to, rec I was trying to recover it. It's a marathon, that's how it goes. All right, so we'll just press onward with the route. This train is gonna turn downward to face me right there. We expect that. 
We are a little bit behind in terms of how many ghosts we expect to have eaten, so we're going a little slow, and normally there's two roaming ghosts at this point, and there the other one showed up. But it doesn't change the overall routing of the level. We're still gonna go through here, like this. And then here we're gonna eat this power pill first, because we can sneak up around this part. And the ghost train will come right behind us right there. Now this part can be tricky. We do tend to get a lot of interference from the roaming ghosts in this part. So with any luck, they will stay out of our way as we make these very specific turns to get through here and try to keep them out of the way. And we are coming up on the end of this level. You can see in the bottom of the screen, I got a counter of how many fruits I've eaten. So 15 of the 17. Should be fruits, but we're doing Dig Dug, so they're all ghosts. Do one more bomb there, because they're going to get in the way. And we're set up to do this part correctly, so we're here. And we're done. So, got a little off-route on that one, but uh, we're on the right track. Okay, so we're going to come up on Spiral, which uh, basically lives up to its name. It's a Spiral. Uh, are we still Dig Dug? Plastic has taken the lead. Okay, uh, we'll put on some some non-Dig Dug music to go for Classic. And again, great window for a donation at the beginning of the level. Of course, we have $1 from Tempest Mask 1000 that says, Ah, so this is a bid war that uh, is something that you can change on the fly during the run. In that case, let's see a Classic skin. It might require five more dollars, but it's worth a shot. And indeed, we had six dollars from Fruity Waffles that said classic, with a little smiley face. So, yep, we get to see another little bit of a different look. And as you can see, we kind of already had one of the spirals that gives this level its name. Uh, yeah, you're seeing a lot of symmetrical patterns on this one. One thing that's actually interesting about this level is in score attack, you don't even play the right half of the stage for the most part. We're gonna come over the top, and we're gonna eat this. And we saw what we wanted to see out of the ghost train. We want it on the top. We don't want to eat it here. And then we're gonna run through another couple of pretty straightforward screens, and we're gonna hope Blinky doesn't get in our way. It's a little dangerous because uh, we do run right over the exit to Ghost Jail, and that can be trouble if he pops out at the wrong time. I'm gonna stall in that corner just a little bit because I knew he was gonna cut me off. Now we want to get through this part as quickly as possible, even if he's going to get in our way and cause that stall, because we got to get ahead of the ghost train. We did not want to eat that ghost there, but it's okay. It doesn't hurt anything. It's just a minor time loss. And we're going to come around and get these. And we got one more set of spirals to go. And these loops are pretty large, and actually even a small ghost train can start to cause trouble here. Uh, and because Blinky kind of got in the way there, uh, I did not get to take that as cleanly as I wanted. So we got one more set of loops here, and then we'll have one more of those spiral type patterns. Here the train's too long to go along the dots, so we take a slight detour. We come around like this, we got one more spiral. And we see, see all those ghosts over there? We're not going to eat any of them, they're all superfluous. Come around. Over here, and there we go. About four seconds from an individual level PB. We'll take that. Uh, so uh, next level is going to be Manhattan, uh, which is themed kind of around uh, blocks in a grid, which you might think. Uh, so are we still classic? Still classic. So we can do classic, and if you've got a donation, it is again a great time to read it. I do, in fact, have a don donation. I have $20 from D2 Kemps, who says, I am, personally, uninterested in having an easy Delvin fight. And that went towards Save Delvin. D2 Kemps will be one of our runners for Lena's Inception coming up later. Yeah, along with Wolfman, a.k.a. Dance Dad, right? That's right. Which, uh, we're both big into music games, so, uh, play more music games, people. Okay, so what's going to be interesting about this level is going to come up in a couple screens here. The beginning's pretty straightforward, but we're going to stay in power pill state for the better part of a minute uh, once we get through this next couple, this next screen here. We'll bring these along and we'll do the screen wrap to get this power pill, and then we won't leave power pill state for quite some time. 
So we're gonna come around here, slip down and eat all these guys. So you can see some of the roaming ghosts have power pills in them. And we're gonna take advantage of that to bust through some areas that are otherwise gated off by these stationary ghosts. And the roaming ghost stayed on the bottom of the screen, which looks good for time. We do not actually want to eat that ghost. We want him off and out of the way, because eating ghosts, especially single ghosts, takes a lot of time. As you can see, we're running through this. We're eating every single power pill ghost along the way, along with just enough other ones to get where we need to go. And let's hope this doesn't cause any trouble. It didn't. And then here, we're going to use that stationary or that free power pill sitting in the middle of the screen. We haven't used it yet. And I just realized that I am on PB timer and not on individual level timer. So this level will likely end before I get to the end of it. And we are not going to have a technically valid run anymore. But we're going to get so close to the end that we're just going to keep going. Uh, but that was a mistake I made. It defaults. That's the setting it defaults to. I did that bomb because I thought uh, Blinky had a good chance of trolling me there. He actually went the right direction. So unfortunately we are going to run out of the time on this level just a little bit before the end. But this is the last screen. And if things get set up right on the ghost chases, you, you don't have to bomb there. But uh, rather than run it back, uh, we will... You saw the last screen, so we'll move on to the next level. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so what are, are we still on Classic? We are still on Classic. All right, uh, so we'll get that up. And I'll remember to set it this time. So this level is Dungeon, and the theme of it is we're all in these tight, confined spaces. Uh, so it's going to be pretty straightforward at the beginning. So again, a great window for a donation. All right. We do. We have $5 from 12-sided who says, good luck to you, uh, amazing and talented speedrunners. I'm excited to join in on the fun. Thank you, 12-sided. We also have a $20 donation from Wolfman2000, who says, all right, Kemp's challenge accepted. All right, so yeah, as you can see in this one, there's just not a lot of room to work, which actually works in our favor because it means the roaming ghosts tend to behave pretty consistently. So we're gonna actually see red come right for us here, but we expect that. And there's really no other way to speed that up. It just happens how it happens. Uh, so we're gonna go kind of through the dog bone screen here. And uh, this one's not too interesting, but we're coming up on some uh, on something that's a little tricky here a couple screens away. We're gonna wrap around the top here. And then on this next screen, we're gonna keep doing this staircase move. And we're going to really quickly grab that last dot and turn around. We need this ghost train going along the bottom, and we got it. So we will go around this, these patterns like this. And I did have to do a double back because uh, Blinky was slightly where I didn't want him to be. But we got through it pretty well. So again, we don't have a lot of space to maneuver if he decides to get in our way. We just kind of either have to bomb or we have to do some shenanigans like that. We have one more tricky move coming up on this screen. And then this level's over. It's really short. So we bomb this out. And I did, I missed it, so we'll bomb again. If you get in there, then you can get ahead of the ghost train and get to the, get through those power pills without any eats. But we didn't have any eats anyway, so it works out pretty well. All right, so we have two levels left to go in this run. It's moving pretty quick. Uh, this is Championship 1. So this is a level from Pac-Man Championship non-deluxe. So are we still on Classic? Still on Classic. OK. Uh, let's actually set that this time. So this level is very different than everything else we've seen. There are no stationary ghosts. And instead, we got four roaming ghosts the whole time. Uh, so this level is very swingy, and what it comes down to will really be how many times the roaming ghosts get in the way. And again, that's not random, but you can't meaningfully control it either, so... We would love to see something sub about 233, despite my PB on the level being 226. We will not see a time that good. 
but uh, we can hope. So we're ch we're keeping Power Pill a long time just for the level set up that way. But we haven't used any bombs yet, which is good. We need them here. I call this the kidney bean screen, and it's one of the first points where we might have to use a bomb, and we did. This next screen is another one where we might have to use a bomb, but we got away without it. It's good not to bomb here, because if you do, all the ghosts just follow the dots on the right side of the screen, which is slow. We don't want them on our path. So the screens are about to get more complicated once we get done with this one. Oh, that that's unpleasant. Uh, so, what happened there was the power pill ended right when I landed over the ghost. So I didn't even get the benefit of any slowdown to warn me. So that's unfortunate. It just happens sometimes, but if we're actually going for a real run, that's a rip right there. But, uh, we'll do our best. So we route this side in an attempt to, uh, keep power pill state as long as we can. And similarly, these patterns are set up. We're trying to avoid having cross traffic as long as we can. And also to avoid having to do the bomb. But I have more bombs than I otherwise would because I died. So we're actually no longer worried about bombs, but we'd still prefer not to use them. They do take time. But this screen's going pretty well. And I've recently rerouted this screen and I've gotten it much more consistent than I used to have it. So this ghost should overshoot there and we should be able to get in here. Then we're gonna come on around here. And we're gonna come on and get all these. Keep Power Pill alive. Now what we got at the end here is we've got a cache of bombs we can use to keep the ghosts out of the way so that we don't have to eat them. And considering we took a death, 23603 is not bad. Okay, so we actually only have one level left in the main run, and this level is half, and it is also, like the last level, it's unlike any other level we've seen so far. So, are we still on Classic? We are on default this time. We are time. on default. I appreciate whoever made that default, because uh, that's usually what I, what I play on. I shouldn't say default, it's, I, I change it to visual A, but you know, same idea. This is what I usually play on. So, this stage, uh, all the action is going to be on the left side of the screen. There are no roaming ghosts, and it's all about peeling away layers of ghosts over and over again. So, if we got a donation, let's get it in now, because I got a lot of talking. Yes, of course, we do. We have a $5 anonymous donation that says, Good luck, Jamich. Thanks for bringing Pac-Man to Midwest Speed Fest. Thank you, anonymous donor. Alright, so, uh, we're starting to come up on some of the more interesting screens, so we start, we do that little duck there to get the ghost train lined up with us, we want it chasing us and not cutting us off. We leave those dots behind, we're gonna do a little stall, right here. We're gonna wait, and the ghost train is gonna peel away those two, revealing the power pill, eat three ghosts, because it's gonna improve our speed later, eat the entire ghost train, and we're done with three screens out of 17. Uh, so we're gonna come up on another really neat trick that you only really see in this level. So when the ghost train maxes out at 30 ghosts, the game will continue to remove the stationary ghost as if they were joining the ghost train, but they can't join the ghost train, it's full. We can exploit this trick if we get every single ghost in the way here. We can then quickly turn down and up and stall, and that ghost will just disappear. So we're just gonna go right through, and then we're gonna do it again right here. Boom. So now we're gonna come on to what I like to call the Mambo screen because we go one, two, three, four, five. We get everybody in the car and come on, let's ride. So uh, that's a very precise pattern of eats to open up everywhere we need to get. And then this screen is again, relatively straightforward compared to what we're used to seeing in this level. We're gonna eat these dots and double back. We'll get a little slowdown with bomb right here. So we're gonna get this and we're gonna do four eats on this screen. One, two, three, four. That went perfectly. Did not go perfectly. And I'm gonna take an intentional death here because uh, I got off route when that uh, turned around and I threw down a panic bomb, but we actually really need the bombs to demonstrate how this level is supposed to go. So we're gonna go around like this. Uh, and we're gonna stall up in this corner. We're gonna stall here, and again, we're gonna do that thing where the ghost just kind of disappears and go right through. 
Uh, so, we're gonna go through here. And we need to actually eat all those ghosts, and we're gonna wait for the ghost train to pick up here. Then we're gonna come and do a couple of loops here. And the next screen, because I died and I have a spare bomb, I did not need to take that extra turn. I can try to show you a single frame trick here where if I turn down, got it. If I turn down and I throw that bomb down at the exact same frame, I can remove both those ghosts in one go. I usually don't do it in a run and I wasn't planning to do it, but when I died, I'm like, we got the extra bomb. We'll just bust right through there. Uh, so we're gonna do it, we're gonna make up a little time. I'm about 10 seconds off PB, so unfortunately we're probably not gonna get a sub 4 on this level. But, uh, here we're gonna grab this power pill, but we're not actually gonna eat the ghosts here. We're instead gonna set up the ghost train to go exactly where we want it to go, and we need to do a couple of stalls here to make sure that it stays close enough to us. We're gonna go up, down, then we're gonna go up, down again. We're gonna come through, we're gonna bomb our way into this power pill. And we're going to again do some very specific eats to set up the ghost train exactly where we want it to go. And we'll line this up and get all of these dots cleaned up. And then we got one more screen left. So we're going to do a little stall here. We want the ghost train pretty close to us. We're going to briefly stall in this corner to make sure the ghost train doesn't cut us off. And then we're going to go here. I'm going to double back right into the face of danger. Bomb him away. I, I missed that a little bit. We'll throw another bomb because we happen to have it, and that's the end of the run. Uh, so uh, we probably didn't make the sub 21. There were definitely a few uh, a few uh, glitches in there, but uh, I'm happy <laughs> I got to show off a lot of the tech, especially on half. I thought that half mm -hmm. went the half went pretty well till I died. Okay, so we did make the incentive. That was incredible. Right? We did yes, make the incentive. We did. So what we've got for the incentive, and are we still on classic? Let me check one more time. We are still on default, yep. Okay, we will oh, not. We will stick with this. So uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna try a pacifist run of Big Eater. Uh, so Big Eater is a level themed around eating ghosts and pacifist means don't eat any ghosts. This is kind of an unofficial category. I'm trying to make a real category. Uh, and I probably only got a 50% success rate on this, so there's a good chance I'll eat eight ghosts, but we'll do our best to avoid it. So you're gonna notice both four, you're gonna notice we have four roaming ghosts, and you're also gonna notice that we have all these ghosts laid out throughout the playfield, and we're gonna not eat any of them. Uh, so we're gonna have to do some real trickery to get through where they are and to get to the power pills that they're kind of hiding away, and to use those power pills without actually eating anybody in the process. So the beginning, pretty straightforward. Because we're not eating any ghosts though, we're gonna be going relatively slow on this one. Uh, but we're gonna hit our first choke point here, and this power pill is buried all the way back here, but if we use a bomb, then we can eat the power pill and the ghost train will go slowly enough for us to get out. Then we will come up around here and we're about two screens away from another choke point. We could probably get a quick donation in if we got any. Um, yep, just a sec. We had $8 from Fruity Waffles who said variety. So we actually use that ghost bus technique there to get through the uh, top corner because we want to use that bomb as late as possible. We burn two of our three power pills here, but it lets us get ahead of the ghost train, which saves a whole bunch of time. And we're going to turn upward here because we need to peel the outer layer off that power pill because that's the third tricky one. And it's possible that we have some ghosts come in here and get in our way, but it was pretty clean. So this part can be a bit tricky because you need to not go so fast that you eat the ghosts. And here we're going to take an intentional death. Uh, so this is not only going to give us our two bombs back, it's going to remove that ghost from the screen. So it's kind of like getting three additional bombs. So that gives us five for seven choke points, which makes the run a lot more manageable. This can be done without a death abuse, but I was having like a 5% success rate on that, so didn't figure that was marathon safe. Alright, so we're gonna have some cross traffic here. 
more than once. So we're gonna do a couple of wiggles to try not to stare at the ghost, which helps mitigate the slowdown a bit. And then we'll come through here. That is very unfortunate. I had to bomb that. I suppose I could have taken another death. So now we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait for the ghost train to pop this ghost. Oh, and because of the death abuse, uh, I had to use my other bomb there. So we are, we might have to take another death abuse. Because I did not have the ghost train remove any of the other ghosts that were in the way. Let's see if we can do it without another death abuse. But it's sketchy. All right, so we're going to bring the ghost train around here. And we're going to try to stall here long enough for it to remove that go that goes from the power pill and we're gonna just stall this corner here just because this is the only safe way to get through here without a power pill so then we got one more difficult one over here we got to get it you got to pull it out of there I was hoping to pick up some of these extra dots along the way but Clyde was gonna say no you're not gonna do that so, unfortunately, it is going a little bit more slowly. And I ate a ghost. We're gonna have to take another death. Whoops. So it's, it's no longer pacifist or single death. As you can see, it's a very tricky run, but we're really right at the end of it here. And we almost did it. And in the end, isn't that what matters? So, I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't pull it off, but I knew it was about a 50% shot. That was incredible, though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think in my practice, my PB on that was about 307 or so. So there's definitely some time to save over what you saw there. But the ghosts, they troll you pretty bad. Okay, uh, so that I think that's all I'm slated for. So I know up next we got uh, Bloodbast RC with Sonic the Hedgehog. And I know I'm kind of excited to see uh, Wolfman and D2 Kemp do Lena's Inception. But... Uh, I think that's all I got. So yeah, I'm Jamich, and if I do this about once a week, so I'm going to get my little plug for myself. So come come stop by my Twitch if you're interested in this game or rhythm games. And that's all I got. Thank you.